Howdy folks, Greyhawk 4x4 coming at you again, your resident vintage gamer. And uh, we are in mid-D&D mar mid marathon uh, here in the tavern. Uh, we played till, from 7pm till 11pm, I don't know, sorry, till, till midnight last night. Um, and then uh, we're going to start right back up again at 11 o'clock here. Um, and then we're going for probably another 12 hours. So I figured you might like a quick little video of what the tavern looks like mid-marathon, and I haven't done a little tour of the, the tavern for a while, so those that are new to the channel might enjoy this, to actually see behind the curtain and and see the tavern in all its glory. So, here we go. So, of course we've got... Well, we'll start over this way. So, for those of you that haven't seen the tavern before, we got Clint Eastwood kind of guards the bathroom, and uh, so we got... The, uh, the full bath there, I've got the, uh, I got a lot of my uh, Kiss figures, my collection here on the wall, um, some more over here, got the, uh, some of the signed pictures here, um, come over here, we've got the bar with your various and sundry types of alcohols, and uh, spirits, uh, liqueurs, etc., and all my a lot of my glasses and stuff and mugs and everything I brought back from Germany back in the day. And of course, then you've got the the beverage center over here. We got all the sodas and everything down there for anybody that wants them. And uh, just a small fridge here for uh, to throw everything into. I guess I need to probably defrost this at some point. What do you think? Um, but uh, anyway, so, and then of course you got the snack center over here with every kind of snack that you could want over here. And of course, these mugs were all donated by my buddy Chris. So anybody that wants a tavern mug when they're here, they've got one. And uh, got a little cubby there that old Darth Vader. Darth Vader uh, kind of um, guards over there, and a bunch of stuff up in the in the uh, stairway coming down. And you come over here to the table, and this is how we left it last night. We're a bit in a big ravine. I don't know if this will, how well this will come up, but we're in a big ravine with these uh, these are all uh, groupings of trees and so forth, and. Uh, all these are, are these are all these all represent cave entrances. So there's another one there. So there's several of these caves. It's a big cave complex in this ravine kind of an area here. And um, so we were uh, exploring some of those last night. Uh, our last encounter was with a big ass ogre, which took us forever to kill, and we almost didn't make it, but finally got him down. So. And then, of course, you've got the DM chair here for my buddy Brad and his crate of stuff that he always brings with him. Because, you know, when you travel as a DM, you got to take the whole house with you, basically. Um, come back over here. i got my little painting area set up here now. Um, I'm working on a rust monster right there. But the way this works is this little table here has this old... Uh, I guess you'd call it like a banker's magnifying lamp or whatever on it. It also has a light on it. It also lights up. You got to plug it in and then it'll light up. And uh, what I do is I just move this table over like to the big table, put it right up against it and plug it in. And then I can use that magnifying glass and lamp to do detail work and, uh, and so forth. So I've just went ahead and bolted it to this table and then I just move this little table wherever I need to over here and then I do my work there um, you've got the uh, the dark the electronic dartboard here and uh, a lot more of my gaming crap here and I shouldn't say gaming crap I mean it's all timeless treasures for me and uh, my little uh, my little uh, check off sheet for all my D&D &D stuff for all the old out of print stuff there Got the fireplace, which we will not be using since it's 100 degrees every day currently. 
And uh, then, of course, you've got the um, the Dragon Head and the, the Beers of the World uh, uh, poster here. And a lot of my uh, my little, uh, well, you got my Raiders right in the middle, of course, because I'm a huge Raiders fan. But you have uh, little models of the uh, missile system I used to work on in the Army here. So um, that's what that's all about. And you've got um, some movie posters, etc. And then you've got these, uh, I don't know how well that'll come up, but you've got these little minis or, or uh, figures from The Thing uh, film back in the 80s. Um, and these are very hard to find now. So I got a couple of those. Um, and got the Intellivision and the Sega here under there. And the crappy crown from Loot Crate and just more posters and all that kind of crap. You got the behemoth rig right there and uh, the mountain of wires that go along with it and everything. And so, um, and then you come over and you got the, uh, where you guys usually see me sitting. You got this over here. And the giant Greyhawk map on the wall, the poster map up here, and just your more, you know, oh, here's my Commodore 64 um, that actually does work. Um, I've got the monitor and the keyboard and the whole bit here. Um, the disk drives are under here. I just keep all this stuff. I'm trying to keep dust from getting inside everything. Um, and then, of course, the D&D collection wall of books and everything here with all and more action figures and collectibles and all that kind of stuff got my new the pop vinyls uh, the kiss pop vinyls just came out i had those pre-ordered so finally got those and so um that's pretty much it that's the tavern um the uh later on I, my plan is that uh, when we play today at some point I'm going to try I'm just going to do an experiment I'm going to um, go live on YouTube uh, and I'm going to take this mic and kind of try and swing it over as close as I can over here uh, and it's a it's a it's a Yeti I think it'll pick up uh, positional audio um, so I'm hoping that um, it'll pick up some of the audio if you're watching when I when we go live um, you may have turned up your volume. I have no idea how it's going to go. Again, this is just an experiment to see if when we're sitting here playing, if I can just go live and if you guys will be able to see, you know, the, the camera will pick up everything. The, the camera angle will be perfect, but, uh, the audio is what I worry about a little bit. So we'll have to wait and see. You guys will have to give me the feedback. Let me know what you think of the, when we decide to go live. But anyway, so, oh, and yeah, and, and so uh, we bring in the big giant pizzas, for the, and that's what's going to go on that that extra. That table's not usually there, um, but I added it because I know we got the giant pizzas coming. And then, of course, you got the cooler for additional beverages that don't fit in the little fridge up there. So we're all set. Um, yeah, we, uh, we don't actually have, once we get down in here, we don't actually have any reason to leave for the whole... 12 hours because we got the bathroom and everything so um we'll see how it goes I'll, I'll i'll go live a little bit we'll do that experiment see how things are and uh we'll catch you guys on the flip side